Parte satirada, parte satirada. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. 
Shri Guru Charane 
हरे कृष्णा हरि बोल जय राज मादा कुंज बिहारी गोपी जान बल्ला गिरिबर झारी गोपी जान बल्ला गिरिर पर यशोद नंदन प्रज जन रंजना यशोद नंदन प्रज जन रंजन यमुन तेरा यमुन तेरा जय हरा कुंज बिहारी जय राधा कुंज बिहारी हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नित्य गो हरि बो हरि बो हरि बो नित्य गो हरि बो जय जय प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद जय जय प्रभु पाद
Namaste Sarasati Devi Goravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shanyavadi Paschachadesh Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narotamam Daivim Sarasatim Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudhire Nasta Prayeshu Vabhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Gopi Jana Balabha Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtaki we're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 10, Text Number 28. This chapter is entitled, Lord Krishna's Return to Dwarka. Nunam Vratasnana Bhuta Dineshvara Samarchito Yashi Samartito Yashia Grihita Pani Bihi Pibanti Yadzakya Adaram Ritam Mohor Prajashriya Samo Mohor Yad Ashayaha Nunam Vratasnana Bhutta Deneshwara Samarchito Yashya Grehita Panibi Pibanti Yasakya Dadam Ritam Mohor Brajashtriya San Mohor Yad Ashayaha Nunam Vratasnana Bhutta Dineshwara Samarchito Yashya Grehita Pani Bi Pibanti Yasakya Dad Aram Ritam Mohor Prajastriya San Mohor Yad Ashaya Yeah. 
Okay, what meaning? Nunam. Certainly in the previous birth. Vrata. Vow. Snana. Bath. Puta. Sacrifice in the fire. Adina. By all these. Ishwaraha. The personality of Godhead, Samarchita, perfectly worshipped. He certainly, Ashya, his, Grihitapanibi, by the married wives, Pibanti, relishes, Ya, those who. Saki, O friend, Adura Amritam, the nectar from his, from his lips. Moho, again and again, Brajastriya, the damsels of Brajabhumi. Samu Moho often fainted, yet Asaya expecting to be favored in that way. Translation O oh, friends, no, just wait. <laughs> o oh, friends, just think of his wife whose hands he has accepted. How they must have undergone vows, baths, fire sacrifices, and perfect worship of the Lord of the universe to constantly relish now the nectar from his lips by kissing. The damsels of Brajabhumi would often faint just by expecting such favors. Hindi. ब्रजभूमि की बालाए ऐसी कृपा की कल्पना से ही प्राय मूर्चित हो जाती होंगी Purport by Srila Prabhupada. Religious rites prescribed in the scriptures are meant to purify the mundane qualities of the conditioned souls to enable them to be gradually promoted to the stage of rendering transcendental service unto the Supreme Lord. 
Attainment of this stage of pure spiritual life is the highest perfection. And this stage is called Swarupa, or the factual identity of the living being. Liberation means re renovation of this stage of Swarup. In that perfect stage of Swarup, the living being is established in five phases of loving service, one of which is the stage of Madhurya Ras, or the humor of conjugal love. The Lord is always perfect in himself, and thus he has no hankering for himself. He, however, becomes a master, a friend, a son, or a husband to fulfill the intense love of the devotee concerned. Herein, two classes of devotees of the Lord are mentioned in this stage of conjugal love. One is Swakiya and the other is Parakiya. Both of them are in conjugal love with the personality of Godhead Krishna. The queens of Dwarka are Swakiya or duly married wives, but the damsels of Braja were young friends of the Lord while he was unmarried. The Lord stayed at Vrindavan till the age of 16, and his friendly relations with the neighboring girls were in the form of parakia. These girls, as well as the queens, underwent severe penances by taking vows, bathing, and offering sacrifices in the fire as prescribed in the scriptures. The rites, as they are, are not an end in themselves, nor are fruit of action, culture of knowledge, or perfection in mystic power ends in themselves. They are all they are they are all means to attain to the highest stage of Swarup, to render constitutional transcendental service to the Lord. Each and every living entity has this individual position in one of the above mentioned five different kinds of reciprocating means with the Lord. And in one's individual position, in one of the above mentioned five different kinds of reciprocating means with the Lord. And in one spiritual form or swarup, the relation becomes manifest without mundane affinity. The kissing of the Lord, either by his wives or his young girlfriends, who aspire to have the Lord as their fiancé is not of any mundane perverted quality. Had such things been mundane, a liberated soul like Sukadev would not have taken the trouble to relish them, nor would Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu have been inclined to participate in those subjects after renouncing worldly life. The stage is earned after many lives of penance. Om Magyana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chatsur Unmilitanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vanchaka Upatarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhaevacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadekor Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare So we're continuing again to hear how the ladies of Hastinapur are glorifying Lord Krishna. And today they're especially describing about how the different consorts of Lord Krishna, how they had so much pure love for Lord Krishna. 
भगवान के जो पत्नियां हैं उनके बारे में चर्चा कर रहे हैं फाइव रासस एंड द टॉप मोस्ट रास इज दिस मधुरिया रास व्हिच इज वेयर द द कंसोर्ट्स ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा आर ऑल इन दिस मधुरिया रास तो पांच तरह के प्रमुख रस हैं और जिसमें सबसे उच्च कोटि का माधुर्य रस है और भगवान की पत्नियां ये माधुर्य रस में हैं सो लॉर्ड कृष्णा हैज थ्री ग्रुप्स ऑफ कंसोर्ट्स देयर आर द गोपीस ऑफ ब्रजा देयर आर द क्वींस इन द्वारका and the goddesses of fortune in vaikuntha to bhagwan ka madhurya ras teen teen tarah ke vibhajan mein hai ek to braj ki gopiyan dwarka ki raniyan aur lakshmi ji vaikuntha mein so lord krishna as a young boy up until the age of 16 lord krishna was in braja staying in the home of nanda maharaj and along with lord balaram the two lords would go into the forest of vrindavan every day and enjoy being with the cowherd boys and with the calves so bhagwan shri krishna 16 saal ki umar tak nand maharaj ke ghar mein rahe aur balram ji bhi sath mein the to dono bhagwan go charan karte the aur subha jangal mein jaate the jisme unke sath unke gwale sakha tatha gaay hote the In the beginning, as a little baby, Lord Krishna was at home, crawling around the courtyard. So at that time, the lila was more with Mother Yashoda and Nanda Maharaj's parents. So when the Lord was doing his baby kal ki lilaen kar rahe the, to wo Nand Nand Maharaj ke angan mein wo bichran karte the, aur us samay jada tar sari lilaen Yashoda Maya aur Nand Maharaj ke saath mein hoti thi. But he grew up. and as a young boy he was sent to the forest to take care of the calves aur jaise wo thode bade hue to unko jangal bheja jata tha bachdon ko seva karne ke liye and he grows up to the stage of kaishor where is a young man and then he's enjoying more also the relationship with the opposite sex to uske baad kaishor avastha mein bhagwan jab aur bade hote hain to wo ras ko bhi Uh, enjoy karte hain we see people in the, our life mostly it's like that as a young child young children very attached to the mother and father to hum dekhte hain ki sadharan roop se bhi aisa hi hota hai jab bachcha bahut chota hota hai to mata pita se bahut aakarshit rehta hai and then the child grows up the young boy goes wants to go and play with the other boys and they become attached to their friends थोड़े बड़े होते हैं तो अपने दोस्तों के साथ खेलते हैं तो दोस्तों से बड़े आकर्षित हो जाते हैं एंड ग्रोस अपन मेच्योर्स ऑल्सो देन ही लुक्स फॉर अ फीमेल कंपेनियन टू गिव कंपनी जिनके साथ उनका पानी ग्रहण हुआ था उन्होंने कैसा व्रत सो लॉर्ड कृष्णा शोड दिस डिफरेंट रासेस ही वाज बिहेविंग लॉर्ड कृष्णा अपीयरिंग लाइक एन ऑर्डिनरी चाइल्ड तो परम भगवान श्री कृष्ण भी एक साधारण बच्चे की तरह ही ये सारी गतिविधियां करके दिखा रहे थे बट लॉर्ड कृष्ण इज द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड एंड ही इज जस्ट कमिंग टू एंजॉय हिज लीला विद द डिफरेंट डिवोटीज देयर इन वृंदावन लेकिन कृष्ण जो है वो परम भगवान है और वो आते हैं अपने अलग-अलग भक्तों के साथ वृंदावन में अलग-अलग लीलाओं का आस्वादन करने के लिए और सो लॉर्ड कृष्ण इन वृंदावन Uh, the relationship with the gopis is parakya there's no marriage there so vrindavan mein jo gopiyon ke sath bhagwan ka sambandh hai wo parakya hai yani ki usme bhagwan ka vivah nahi hua unke sath but it's that parakya ras where lord krishna gets the, the greatest pleasure aur ye parakya ras mein hi bhagwan ko sabse zyada uttam anand aata hai then you can see the parallel situation in the material world the young man and the young woman they enjoy each other's company as boyfriend and girlfriend before the marriage but after the marriage it's not so pleasing to marak kare ki bahut hi jagat mein bhi hum ye dekh sakte hain ki jo yuva ladka aur ladki wo boyfriend girlfriend ke roop mein ek sath rehte hain तो काफी उनको आनंद आता है लेकिन जब विवाह करके साथ में रहते हैं तो उसमें इतना आनंद नहीं रहता ऑफ कोर्स दिस पारकिया रास दिस इज द लोएस्ट थिंग इन द मटेरियल वर्ल्ड बट इन द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड दिस इज द हाईएस्ट थिंग तो ये जो पारकिया भाव है ये 
भौतिक जगत में सबसे नीची चीज है और आध्यात्मिक जगत में सबसे ऊंची चीज है फॉर अ यंग मैन एंड यंग वुमेन टू हैव रिलेशनशिप विदाउट मैरिज इज इमोरल एंड इज वेरी डिग्रेडिंग इट्स नॉट रिकमेंडेड एट ऑल तो ये एक एक युवा पुरुष और युवा स्त्री के बीच में बिना विवाह के संबंध इस भौतिक जगत में बिल्कुल भी अच्छा नहीं माना जाता सो दैट्स व्हाई वी से इट्स द लोएस्ट थिंग इन द मटेरियल वर्ल्ड but in the terms of the spiritual world this is the highest rasa to isliye hum keh rahe hain ki is bhautik jagat mein ye sabse nimna koti ka sambandh hai lekin adhyatmik jagat mein sabse uchch koti ka sambandh hai we have to understand that in the material world the relationship between the man and woman is simply based on lust the bodily conception of life and the desire to satisfy the senses तो हम देख सकते हैं कि भौतिक जगत में एक पुरुष और स्त्री का जो संबंध है वो शारीरिक चेतना पर है और काम वासना पर आधारित है एक दूसरे को एंजॉय करने के लिए बट ऑन द स्पिरिचुअल प्लेटफॉर्म दैट रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन लॉर्ड कृष्णा विद द गोपीस ब्रजा दैट इज ऑल प्योर लव इट इज नॉट लास्ट लेकिन आध्यात्मिक स्तर पर भगवान श्री कृष्ण का और गोपियों के बीच में जो संबंध है वो काम नहीं है वो शुद्ध प्रेम है देयर इज नो डिजायर नो मटेरियल डिजायर्स इन द हार्ट्स ऑफ द गोपीस ऑफ राजा तो ब्रज की गोपियों के हृदय में किसी प्रकार का कोई भौतिक कामनाएं नहीं है एज डिस्क्राइब्ड हियर इन दिस वर्स दिस डिवोटीज हैव ऑल प्यूरिफाइड देमसेल्फ बाय डूइंग सो मेनी पेनेंसीज एंड ऑस्टेरिटीज एंड बैथिंग इन होली प्लेसेस एंड चैंटिंग मेनी मंत्रस and over many lifetimes they purified themselves to become qualified to take part in the pastimes of lord krishna to jaise ki is shlok mein aaj samjhaya gaya hai ki ye jo jo ye praj ke gopiyan hain ye log koi sadharan vyakti nahi inhone bahut tapasya karke kai kai janmon ke baad tapasya karke kai sare sthanon mein snan kar kar daan dekar jap kar kar और ये योग्य बनते हैं भगवान की लीलाओं में भाग लेने के लिए सो ऑर्डिनरी पीपल दे कंडेम द पास्ट दे कंडेम लॉर्ड कृष्णा ओ ही इज जस्ट सिंपली अ वुमनाइजर ही हैज सो मेनी वाइफ्स एंड बिफोर ही मैरिड ही हैज सो मेनी गर्ल फ्रेंड्स ही इज जस्ट सिंपली एन एंजॉयर तो साधारण लोग इसलिए भगवान को कई बार भगवान की निंदा करते हैं और वो कहते हैं कि वो तो विवाह से पहले उनका कई सारी स्त्रियों के साथ संबंध था और ये केवल स्त्री भोगी हैं। What in Sheikh Shasti come the word lampata is used. Lampata, the womanizer, one just simply exploits Friends and takes the advantage Lord of the woman. While he was unmarried, so Shasti come में the Lord इस्तेमाल किया गया lampata, जिसका अर्थ है जो स्त्रियों को भोग करता है, जो केवल स्त्रियों को कानन लेना चाहता है। but we have to understand that when lord krishna is enjoying and performing these pastimes it is not ordinary it is not lust Unmarried. but it is the, the highest loving relationship of six so, and his friendly relations with the neighboring girls were in the form of parakya so, these girls as well as the queens so all of those gopis there all of the queens of dwarka and the goddess of fortune they were all very great souls very pure souls who had performed many many pious activities over many lifetimes to be able to enjoy this madhurya rasa with lord krishna to ye jitni bhi braj ki gopiyan hain ya dwarka ki jo raniyan hain ya fir lakshmi hain ye sab ne कई कोटि जन्मों तक बहुत तपस्या किया है भगवान के माधुर्य रस को प्राप्त करने के लिए उनकी लीलाओं में भाग लेने के लिए वेन लॉर्ड कृष्णा वॉज विद द गोपीज ही वॉज अंग बॉय ही वॉज एज अंग बॉय ही वॉज विद द गोपीज इन हैविंग रस लीला विद तो भगवान जब गोपियों के साथ थे तो वो एक युवा अवस्था में थे और उनके साथ रास लीला का आनंद लेते थे but it was not like disco it was not like people going to a dance party or where young men and young women just simply lust over each other 
लेकिन वो एक भौतिक जगत के डांस पार्टी की तरह नहीं है जहाँ पे पुरुष और स्त्री एक दूसरे से पूरी तरह से काम से प्रभावित है it's the highest relate the highest dealing between the lord and his pure devotees ye bhagwan aur bhagwan ke shuddh bhakt mein sabse utch koti ka sambandh hai just like the gopis who were the gopis in their previous life they are jaise udharan ke liye gopiyan ki gopiyan kaun thi pichle jeevan mein gopiyan kaun the there's different groups of gopis one group of gopis they were the sages in the dandakaranya forest to gopiyon ke kai sare jhund hain aur usme se ek jhund the jo pichle janm mein dandakaranya jangalo ke jo sadhu the they had met lord ramachandra in the previous yuga and these great sages had met lord ramachandra and they were attracted by the features of lord ramachandra and they and they had the desire to enjoy a conjugal relationship with him so ye jo dand karanya ke jo sadhu the unhone jab bhagwan shri ramachandra ko dekha to unke sundar divya sharir ko dekhkar wo kafi aakarshit hue aur bhagwan ke sath aisa prem mai sambandh rakhna chahte the so lord ramachandra told them well i cannot satisfy your desire in this lifetime because i have already made the vow एकपत्निव्रत, only one wife. तो भगवान श्री रामचंद्र ने बोला कि इस लीला में मैं आपको संतुष्ट नहीं कर पाऊंगा क्योंकि मैंने पहले से ही प्रतिज्ञा लिया है एक पत्नी व्रत. We know Lord Ramachandra is Maria the Avatar. He's perfect in behavior, perfect in following the etiquette. तो हम जानते हैं भगवान रामचंद्र मर्यादा पुरुषोत्तम हैं. वो एकदम परफेक्ट हैं सारी चीजों को अच्छे से पालन करने के लिए। However, Lord Ramachandra told these sages, "You come in my next incarnation. When I come as Lord Krishna, you also take your birth in Braja and you come as the the, the daughters of the cowherd people." और लेकिन भगवान ने उनको बोला कि आप अगले जन्म में आ सकते हैं जब मैं अगले जन्म में कृष्ण के रूप में प्रकट होगा तो उस समय आप ब्रज ब्रजवासी जो हैं जो ग्वाले हैं उनकी पुत्रियों के रूप में जन्म ले सकते हैं सो दैट्स व्हाट दे डिड दीस सेजीज दे डिड तपस्या दे डिड ऑस्टेरिटीज एंड दे फिक्स देयर माइंड सो दैट दे कुड टेक देयर बर्थ इन ब्रजा एंड दे कुड बी बोर्न इन द फैमिली ऑफ द काउहर्ड पीपल तो फिर इन साधुओं ने ऐसा ही किया उन्होंने खूब तपस्या की अपने मन को भगवान के चरण कमल में केंद्रित किया और फिर अगले जन्म में ब्रज के ग्वालों के घर में ये पैदा हुए सो दीज सेजीज हु वर ग्रेट ग्रेट सेजीज दे बिकेम सिंपल विलेज गर्ल्स इन द फैमिली ऑफ द काउहर्ड पीपल बट दे वर एबल टू गो एंड डांस इन रासलीला विद लॉर्ड कृष्ण तो ये जो महान महान भक्त संत थे ये लोग इस जन्म में साधारण से ब्रज के ग्वालों के घर में बच्चों के रूप में जन्म हुए लेकिन ये भगवान की रात लीला में भाग ले पाए एंड देन अनदर ग्रुप ऑफ गोपीज हु आर देयर इन रासलीला दे आर द पर्सोनिफाइड वेदास द श्रुतिचारास और जो दूसरा गोपियों का झुंड है वो कौन है वो वेद हैं वेदों के जो पर्सनालिटी हैं और जिनको श्रुतिचारा बोला गया है the person the personified vedas is a big chapter there in the 10th canto those of you who read 10th canto shrimad bhagavatam or in krishna book you can read the prayers by the personified vedas it's a very long chapter which comes near the end of the 10th canto so maharaj bata rahe ki ye jo ved purush hain ye इनका जो प्रार्थनाएं हैं श्रीमद भागवतम के दसवें स्कंद के आखिर में ये दिया गया है जिसमें सारे वेद पुरुष जो है भगवान से बहुत प्रार्थना करते हैं सो दिस पर्सोनिफाइड वेदास पीपल दे वांटेड टू अंडरस्टैंड मोर द पास्ट टाइम्स ऑफ द लॉर्ड एंड दे वांटेड टू नो हिम एज अ पर्सन तो ये जो वेद पुरुष हैं ये भगवान की लीलाओं को और ज्यादा समझना चाहते हैं और भगवान कैसे एक व्यक्ति हैं उस उस एक्सपीरियंस को समझना चाहते हैं यू नो फ्रॉम द वेदास इट्स नॉट इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड लॉर्ड कृष्ण वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू नो कृष्ण फ्रॉम द वेदास लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा आल्सो सेज द सेम इन द ब्रह्मा समिता तो वेदों के माध्यम
माध्यम से भगवान को समझना बहुत मुश्किल है और ब्रह्मा जी इसी चीज इसी तथ्य को ब्रह्म संहिता में कहते हैं अद्वैतम अच्युतम अनादिम अनंत रूपम अद्यम पुराण पुरुषम नव यौवनम च वेदेशु दुर्लभम अदुर्लभम आत्म भक्तो गोविंदम अधिपुरुषम धम हम वेदेशु दुर्लभम very difficult to know lord krishna from the vedas so brahma samhita se batate hue maharaj ne bola ki yahan pe likha hai ki durlabham vedo vedo ke madhyam se bhagwan ko samajhna bahut mushkil hai but adurlabham atma bhakto very easy to know krishna from the devotee lekin bhagwan shri krishna ko samajhna bahut aasan hai unke bhakto se so the personified vedas they wanted to understand krishna as a person they wanted so lord krishna told them you come to braja so they came to braja and then they heard about rasa lila and they wanted to come for the rasa lila but lord krishna told them before you can come to rasa lila you have to take birth in the family of the cowherd people you have to become gopis so jab ye ved purushon ne भगवान से ऐसा प्रार्थना किया तो भगवान ने उनको बोला कि ठीक है आप लोग मेरी व्रज की लीलाओं में आ जाओ लेकिन आप जब व्रज की लीलाओं में आओ और उन्होंने वहां पे रास लीला के बारे में सुना जिसमें वो भाग लेना चाहते थे तो भगवान ने बोला रास लीला में भाग लेने से पहले आपको ग्वालों के घर में कन्याओं के रूप में पैदा होना होगा सो दैट्स and they were able to take part in rasa lila to aisa hi hua kun ved purushon ne braj ke walon ke ghar mein janm liya aur wo gopi bane aur fir unhone rasa lila mein bhag liya so we look at rasa lila we see the pictures oh gopis all young girls innocent young girls and krishnas with the, these young girls they're very very special girls so not ordinary ladies to so, aap kabhi rasa lila ka chitra dekhenge तो उसमें आप देखेंगे वो बहुत सारी मासूम सी ये कन्याएं हैं भगवान के साथ नृत्य कर रहे हैं ये कन्याएं मासूम नहीं है ये बहुत महान व्यक्तित्व तो है सब सो सम ऑफ देम वर द पर्सन ऑफ आई बेडर्स सम वर द ग्रेट सेजेस सम कम फ्रॉम द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड दे वर परफेक्ट सोल्स हु केम टू बी विद लॉर्ड कृष्णा तो जैसे महाराज ने बताया कुछ गोपियां वेद पुरुष हैं कुछ गोपियां कुछ गोपियां जो आध्यात्मिक जगत से आए हैं भगवान का संकर में शुद्ध एंड देन यू गॉट आल्सो गोपीस हु जस्ट बिकम परफेक्ट दे आर जस्ट कमिंग अप दे आर गेटिंग रेडी टू गो टू द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड और कुछ गोपियां ऐसे हैं जो कि बस आध्यात्मिक जगत में पहुंचने ही वाले हैं वो आध्यात्मिक जगत में पहुंचने के लिए जो परकाष्ट है और कृष्णा as a young boy so try to understand how oh, lord krishna is late as a young boy up until the age of 10 and 16 they given krishna was the braja studying in the home of the master they gone to the holy place along with lord balaram there the two lords many lives to the for- in order to become gopis so hum aap samajh sakte hain ki ye jo gopiyan hain jo gopi banne ke liye इस स्थिति तक पहुंचने से पहले उन्होंने बहुत तपस्या किया है बहुत व्रत किया है बहुत दान दिया है बहुत सारे तीर्थों में विचरण किया है और बहुत सारे दिव्य स्थलों में स्नान किया है गोपी बनने से पहले एंड देन कृष्णा हैज आल्सो वाइफ्स इन द्वारका द क्वींस ऑफ द्वारका दे आर आल्सो वेरी स्पेशल लेडीज और परम भगवान कृष्ण के द्वारका में भी जो रानियां हैं वो भी बहुत विशेष Mahilaya. You have the eight principal queens headed by Rukmini, who is the goddess of fortune. So, eight pramukh raniya hai. Is me sabse shiromani hai Rukmini, jo ki Lakshmi Devi hai. Then you have other ladies like Satyabama, Jambavati, and Kalindi, and Badra, and uh, uh, anyway, there's eight principal queens. I forgetting all the names. So, Rukmini Devi, Devi ke baad aur bhi hain, jaise ki Satya Bhama, Jambavati, Kalindi, Bhadra, aur aise kuch. Satya is there. Satya is one. Satya ek hai. And then also there's the one Nagnajiti. 
her father had seven bulls. Lord Krishna had to tie up seven bulls in order to get Nagnajiti for a wife. And so these eight principal queens, but then there were 16,100 other queens who Krishna married. And these were also special, very special ladies. Somehow, oh, they had been taken prisoner by Bomasura. Now, Bomasura, he was actually the son of Bhumi. When mother, when the earth planet fell into the bottom of the universe, at that time Lord Varaha came and picked up the earth from the bottom of the universe. And when Lord Varaha picked up the mother planet earth, at that time also, it was arranged that Lord Varaha impregnated Mother Bhumi and gave her a child. So the child of Bhumi was brought up to be a good devotee, but eventually he got into bad association and he associated with many demons and he became a demon. And he was very powerful. He had uh, he'd taken, he defeated many kings and he took away their daughters and he was keeping all of their, all of the different king's daughters prisoner in his palace. So there were six, 16,100 queens, princesses. And uh, this Bomasura was such a demon, so powerful, that he had taken away the umbrella from Varuna. And he had taken away the earrings from Mother Aditi. And he had taken away this money, par this parvat, this top of the mountain, which was actually the pleasure ground of the demigods. And so he was so powerful, Indra couldn't do anything about him. And Lord Indra came to Dwarka and told Lord Krishna about him and complained to Krishna that please help us. We know that Lord Krishna is always bound to help the demigods in their battles with the demons. So Indra came to appeal to Lord Krishna that please help us, you know, this demon is really disturbing everything in the universe. So Lord Krishna heard about this and he decided, all right, yes, we will do something. And he went off and he, went, he took Satyabhama with him when he went to fight these demons. So Lord Krishna, along with Satyabhama, he went first of all to where this demon Bhomasura was staying. And the demon Bhomasura was actually protected by another demon. There was one demon called Mura. 
and Lord Krishna had to fight him first and kill him. So Bhagwan Satyabhama ke saath Bhomasur ko yud karne ka pray. So Bhomasur ki suraksha mein ek aur asur te jinka naam tha Mura. So Bhagwan ko pahle unko parast karke vat karna pada. And after he killed the Mura demon, then all the seven sons of the Mura demon came to attack Lord Krishna, and Lord Krishna had to kill them also. Or fir jab Mur then news came to Bomasura. So Bomasura himself came out on a huge elephant to face Lord Krishna in battle. Now Bomasura, we said he's the son of Lord Varaha. So he's like the son of the, the Lord himself, but Lord Krishna fought him and killed him also. So, Bhomasur, as we have heard, he was a son of Varahadeep, so God is the son of Bhagavan, but God has also killed him and killed him too. Even you're the son of the Lord, if you're behaving in a demonic manner, then you, you have to be punished. If you're the son of the Lord, so after Lord Krishna killed Bomasura, then Bomasura's mother, Prithivi, the deity, goddess of the earth, she came out and she brought the different things which Boma had stolen. So when Bomasura was born, his mother, Prithivi, came and when Bomasura had all the things that he had kept in his mind, and she also offered prayers and everything to Lord Krishna. And she gave the earrings of a deity, she gave the umbrella, she gave everything the demon had stolen. But then Lord Krishna saw there the 16,100 princesses who were all there in the prison of this Boma. And by the Vedic culture, because they've been taken by Boma Sura, they've been touched by a man. So no other man will accept them. Just like in the Mahabharata, you see how uh, Bhishma brought three sisters. He wanted them to be the wives of Vichitraviriya. There were three sisters, Amba, Ambika, Ambalika, and they were all taken, kidnapped by Bhishma, and he brought them to marry his brother, Vichitraviriya. So, Bhishma Dev Jai, these three sisters, Amba, Ambika, Ambalika, and they were all taken, and they wanted to marry Vichitraviriya, who were their brothers, and they wanted to marry them. But this one girl said, look, I'm already engaged to marry another man. There's this other king I'm supposed to marry. So then Bhishma said, oh, then you better go back. Go ahead, go back. But when she went back, then the man she was supposed to marry said, you're already touched by another man. How I can marry you now? And the same problem was there when Mother Sita was taken by the demon Ravan, that there was doubts about her chastity. So these 16,100 princesses are all there and they see Lord Krishna and naturally every one of them wants Lord Krishna. They're all attracted by Lord Krishna. So these 16,100 princesses 
जब भगवान को कृष्ण को देखा तो स्वाभाविक रूप से सब कोई भगवान से इतना आकर्षित हुआ सब कोई भगवान को चाहता था And Lord Krishna thinks I should help them. I should be kind to them. So he agreed to take all of them as his wives. So Param Bhagwan Krishna ne kaha ki mujhe in par kripa karni chahiye, mujhe inki madad karni chahiye. Isliye Bhagwan ne un sab ko apni patni ke roop mein chikar kar. And he took them back to Dwarka, and he arranged a palace for each and every one of them. Each one had their own palace. Aur fir Bhagwan un sab ko Dwarka le gaye. और सबको एक एक महल दिया यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट वुमेन टू लिव टुगेदर मारा कह रहे कि हम ये उम्मीद नहीं कर सकते कि औरतें एक साथ में रह जाएं इवन टू वुमेन टुगेदर दे विल फाइट राइट तो औरतें भी एक साथ रहती हैं तो लड़ती हैं सो ही हैड अ पैलेस फॉर ईच वन ऑफ देम एंड ही ही डिड द मैरिज विद ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ देम एट द सेम टाइम तो भगवान ने सबको एक-एक महल दिया और सबसे एक साथ में सभी लोगों से हर एक हर एक भगवान ने विवाह किया लॉर्ड कृष्णा एक्सपैंड हिज हिमसेल्फ सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड टाइम्स एंड तो परम भगवान कृष्ण ने अपने आप को सोलह हजार एक सौ विस्तार किए और इसी तरह भगवान के माता पिता और जो भी संबंधी विवाह में चाहिए थे उन सब ने भी विस्तार किए और एक ही समय पे सोलह हजार एक सौ शादियां हुआ सो हु आर दिस सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड वाइफ ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण दे आर वेरी स्पेशल लेडीज दे आर एक्चुअली फ्रॉम द डिफरेंट potencies of lord krishna lord krishna has 16 potencies to ye 16000 raniya kaun hai ye bahut vishesh hai ye sare bhagwan ki shakti hai bhagwan ki 16 shakti hai lord krishna is like the moon and the go these these ladies are like the different phases of the moon तो भगवान कृष्ण एक चंद्रमा के समान है और ये सारी जो रानियां हैं ये उस चंद्रमा के अलग अलग अवस्थाओं अवस्था के समान है इन द कोर्स ऑफ द मून ग्रोइंग एंड वेनिंग वैक्सिंग एंड वेनिंग सो देर आर सिक्सटीन डिफरेंट फेसिस व्हिच द मून गोज थ्रू So these sixteen phases are the different potencies of Lord Krishna. So Chandrama, as we tell, that Chandrama is sixteen types. He comes, is small, big, big, big. So in this way, these are the sixteen powers of Lord Krishna. In this way, these are the sixteen powers of Lord Krishna. In this way, these are the sixteen powers of Lord Krishna. In this way, these are the sixteen powers of Lord Krishna. In this way, these are the sixteen powers of Lord Krishna. In this way, these are the sixteen powers of Lord Krishna. In this way, these are the sixteen powers of Lord Krishna. उनको हर एक को हजार में भाग दिया जाए तो इस तरह से सोलह हजार हो गया इट सेड एक्चुअली ओरिजिनली दिस सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड वर गोपीज व्हेन दे वर यंग गर्ल्स दे वर गोपीज बट व्हेन दे बिकेम मैच्योर दे बिकेम प्रिंसेसेस एंड दैट्स प्रिंसेसेस दे वर टेकन प्रिजनर बाय बोमासुरा एंड देन दे वेंट ऑन टू बिकम द वाइफ्स ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा तो ये सोलह हजार जो है ये पहले ये गोपियां थी जब ये छोटे थे और फिर जब बाद में ये राजकुमारी हुई तो इनको भौमासुर ने किडनैप किया सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस कॉन्सर्ट्स ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा द वाइफ द क्वींस इन द्वारका नॉट ऑर्डिनरी लेडीज तो ये आपको समझना चाहिए कि जो द्वारका में भगवान की महिषियां हैं ये कोई साधारण स्त्रियां नहीं है But they had also done many pious activities over many lifetimes. But उन्होंने भी भी बहुत सारा पुण्य किया है कई सारे जन्मों तक. Just like we say about the cowherd boys, that these cowherd boys who are playing with Krishna in the forest, that they have also they've also performed many many pious activities to be with Lord Krishna. जैसे कि हम ये भी जानते हैं कि ये जो ग्वाले हैं जो भगवान के साथ में क्रीड़ा करते हैं खेलते हैं वो सब ने भी बहुत सारा पुण्य कर किया है भगवान के साथ लीलाओं में भाग लेने 
And so we all have a relationship with Lord Krishna. We also belong with Lord Krishna and we should also desire to go back there and also be with Krishna in the spiritual world. We all have our Swarup, our eternal Swarup, our position in relation to Krishna, and that will be revealed to us as we advance in Krishna consciousness. But what is our position now at this time? We should understand our position is that we're all servants of Krishna and we should work in that consciousness. Whatever relationship we have with Krishna, whether it's neutrality or servitude or parenthood or friendship or conjugal love, in every one of these rasas, the common element is service. So we cultivate the mood of being the servant and by engaging in service to Krishna, Krishna will gradually reveal to us what actual relationship we should be cultivating. The bodies which we have now are not an indication of our Swarup in the spiritual world. Just like the man doesn't mean they have a male body in the spiritual world. And similarly, the ladies, they have the female body today, doesn't mean in the spiritual world they will also have the female body. But we should understand that we will have a form and that form will, de will depend on our particular rasa, our relationship with Krishna. We simply want to focus on being the servant of Krishna. Now, sometimes devotees would ask Srila Prabhupada, what is your Swarup? What is your relationship with Krishna? And Prabhupada would simply reply, you don't need that. That is not for you. But we do see that the, the other previous acharyas, like uh, from the Goswamis down to even uh, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Bhakti Siddhanta, Gorkishur Das Babaji, Jagannath Das Babaji, that, that uh, they have been identified. By some people, they've been identified as being manjaris in the spiritual world. Now, the Manjaris, they're the young go gopis. They're younger than the gopis, uh, young, young girls. And so they haven't reached puberty yet. And because they're so young and not yet mature, they can be with Radha and Krishna, and they won't feel any envy. They won't feel any jealousy. But 
भगवान से राधा रानी से कोई ईर्षा नहीं होता you know if another woman is there with a man and another lady comes then the other lady will you know there'll be some feeling there that no oh, yeah it won't feel normal won't feel comfortable but when it's a little girl there's no problem so so to kyunki ye choti hai bahut umar mein isliye koi dikkat nahi hai agar koi तो एक जैसी उम्र की महिलाओं और उसमें एक महिला जो है किसी पुरुष के साथ हो तो दूसरी को उतना अच्छा नहीं लगेगा सो इन द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड रूप गोस्वामी अदर गोस्वामी लाइक दैट दे आर ऑल नोन टू बी मैनजारीस इन द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड फिर भी आध्यात्मिक जगत में शिला रूप गोस्वामी तथा अन्य गोस्वामी इन सबको मंजरी पहचाना गया है एंड इन दैट फॉर्म द यंग गर्ल्स दे आर एबल टू सर्व the divine couple radha and krishna aur us avastha mein wo divya jugal bhagwan radha krishna ko seva karte hain now some people they're eager to know what is their swarup and they go to they they get cheated and they go to people who are giving what is called sit sit a pranali mantra to kai log chahte hain apna swarup janna और वो ऐसे सिद्ध प्रणाली वाले लोगों के पास जाते हैं और वो उनको ठग लेते हैं एंड दे विल गो टू सी समबडी दे पे देम सम मनी एंड द मैन विल टेल यू योर फॉर्म इन द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड और वो उन लोगों के पास जाते हैं उनको कुछ धन देते हैं और वो फिर बताते हैं कि आध्यात्मिक जगत में आपका स्वरूप ये है एंड दैट वे देन यू थिंक ओह नाउ आई नो माय फॉर्म इन द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड आई कैन मेडिटेट ऑन दिस फॉर्म और फिर वो सोचते हैं वो मुझे तो अपना आध्यात्मिक जगत का रूप पता है अब मैं इस पे चिंतन कर सकता हूं सो दिस इज नॉट बोनाफाइड दिस इज नॉट रिकॉग्नाइज्ड बाय द गौडीय वैष्णवस तो ये प्रमाणिक नहीं है गौडीय वैष्णव परंपरा इस पर इसका समर्थन नहीं करता दिस इज कंडेम्ड बाय भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती एंड द आचार्य से ऑल से दिस इज इट्स नॉट द प्रॉपर सिस्टम तो भक्ति सिद्धांत महाराज इसका इसका खंडन करते हैं दूसरे आचार्य भी इसका खंडन करते हैं वो बोलते हैं ये सही तरीका नहीं है जस्ट सिंपली अ बिजनेस दैट पीपल दोस हु वांट टू बी चीटेड फाइंड अ चीटर तो ये केवल एक व्यापार है जो चाहते हैं कि चीट चीटिंग होना उनको कोई ऐसा व्यक्ति मिल जाता है जो उनको चीटिंग करे दे थिंक दे कैन नो देयर स्वरूप जस्ट बाय पेइंग सम मनी और वो सोचते हैं कि कुछ पैसे देके अपना स्वरूप जानेंगे so we should understand this is not bona fide process to hame aisa samajhna chahiye ki ye pramanik tarika nahi hai okay are there any questions ka prashn hai yes so the question my question is uh, as you mentioned that uh, uh, mother rukmini is the uh, goddess of fortune uh, mother lakshmi so uh, I, I I have just uh, one confusion regarding the expansion of Sri Mati Radha Rani. So Mother Lakshmi is the expansion. So uh, can I can I say or can I understand this? Uh, please uh, please explain uh, the relationship between Mother Rukmini and uh, uh, Sri Mati Radha. So Prabhu Ji's question is that you have told us that Rukmini Ji is the Lakshmi, and we have also heard that the whole of Lakshmi is the Radha Rani. So what is the relationship between Mother Rukmini and Sri Mati Radha Rani? So what is the relationship between Mother Rukmini and Sri Mati Radha Rani? Well, Sri Mati Radha Rani is the original. She's originally coming from Lord Krishna, and she expands herself as the goddess of fortune. So Sri Mati Radha Rani, who is the first of all, the first of all, is the first of all, the first of all, is the first of all, the first of all, is the first of all. But the original form is Sri Mati Radha Rani, and Lakshmi, or then from Lakshmi, Rukmini comes. तो जो सबसे पहले भगवान से आते हैं वो है श्रीमती राधा रानी और वो विस्तरित करती हैं लक्ष्मी जी में और लक्ष्मी जी से रुक्मिणी आती है माधुरी रस्ता इट इज अंडर स्वर्गिया और परकिया तो माधुरे रस दोनों ही को माधुरे रस बोला जाता है स्वाकिया एंड पराकिया इन प्रॉपर्स परपोर इट वाज मेंशन देयर आज प्रोपा जी के परपोर्ट में बताया गया था कि स्वाकिया और परकिया दोनों ही माधुरे रस हम्म यस 
तो प्रभु जी का प्रश्न है कि हम पद जीव होने के कारण मन जो है वो विचरण करता रहता है और हम जब सेवा करते हैं तो कई बार हमें मिथ्या इंकार हो जाता है तो हम कैसे इस तरह से सेवा करें कि सभी वैष्णव को संतुष्ट कर पाए वह बाई जस्ट सिंपल बाई डूइंग सर्विस बाई सर्विंग serve un unmotivated without material motivation and serve uninterrupted don't have any material desires don't don't keep material desires for some fruit of gain that you want something and don't even think about liberation but just simply desire to want to please krishna to maharaj bata rahe ki jo seva lagatar seva karte chahiye to hamari jo seva hai wo bina kisi phal ki ichha ke honi chahiye बिना रुकावट के होनी चाहिए उससे हमें कोई भौतिक लाभ की कामना नहीं होनी चाहिए यहाँ तक कि मुक्ति की भी कामना नहीं होनी चाहिए अपनी सेवा से अन्यासी तत्सुन्यम ज्ञान कर्म जन वृतम अनोखो ये न कृष्ण अनुशील नाम भक्ति उत्तम दैट इज दाइस्ट डिवोशन वेन यू सिंपली डिजायर टू सर्व कृष्ण एंड विदाउट एनी मटीरियल डिजायर फॉर फिर fruit of gain or for liberation you simply want to please krishna and to serve krishna to utch koti ka seva ye hai jisme seva ka jo lakshya hai wo bhagwan ki prasannata hai usme mukti kisi prakar ka phal ki prapti ya kisi bhi anya prakar ki aur koi ichha bhagwan ko prasann karne ke alawa nahi hona chahiye so in the gopal champu Jiva Goswami wrote this book Gopal Champu, and in the Gopal Champu, he has Radha and Krishna married to each other, because at the time of Jiva Goswami, there was so much objection to this Parakya Ras, because you know ordinary people, conservative people, they didn't like this Parakya Ras, this idea that the highest loving relationship is without marriage. तो शिला जीव गोस्वामी जिन्होंने गोपाल चंपू नाम का ग्रंथ लिखा है शिला जीव गोस्वामी गोपाल चंपू में राधा कृष्ण का विवाह को बताते हैं इसलिए बताते हैं क्योंकि ये जो पारकीय संबंध है जिसमें कि बिना विवाह के ये माधुर्य का संबंध है लोग इसको समझ नहीं पाते इसकी निंदा करते हैं doing if, if krishna is doing it and you're saying it's the top most then people will want to follow krishna's example so jiva goswami decided that he should have radha and krishna married so shila jiva goswami ye vichar karte hai ki log kyunki 